Welcome to Fire and Interior. This is Atefe. I'm happy to announce that I have a client now. The lovely couple Susie and Jeff wanted me to do their home decoration. Susie is an Instagram influencer posting about fashion and cooking and a little bit of everything, and Jeff is an investment banker. Here I am helping them. I am so excited about our new house and I am excited about this. I hope you can help me to find out the style that I really like. Uh, Sunny, the style that we both like. Of course dear. So how does it work? You show us a couple of pictures and we decide? Well Susie, it's more complicated than that. I would like to help you to make an informed decision. So I'm gonna present you a couple of styles in details. And then based on your personal preferences, the location of your house, your lifestyle and your budget, you can decide which one fits you better. Well, this is amazing. I can't wait. Thank you for being with us in this tiring process. You're welcome, Jeff. That's what I do. Well, Susie, I know there is this trend farmhouse interior design that you really like to know about, and I'm going to start with it. Perfect. Can't wait to hear all about it. Farmhouse Traditional has been a popular interior style for decades thanks to its rustic and simple charm. However, in recent years, the classic design has evolved into two distinct offshoots, modern farmhouse and industrial farmhouse. These styles take the traditional farmhouse elements and give them a fresh and contemporary twist. In this video, we will explore the difference between these three styles and help you decide which one may be right for you and your home. So buckle up and get ready for some serious interior design talk. Let's start by explaining the traditional farmhouse interior style, also known as classic farmhouse. This style takes inspiration from the traditional farmhouses of rural America. It is characterized by rustic and natural materials, muted colors, and simple practical furnishings. The origin of the traditional farmhouse interior style can be traced back to the early 20th century, when farmhouses were built with an emphasis on functionality and practicality. There was a need for simple and durable furnishings that could withstand the rigors of farm life. In the farmhouse traditional style, the base of a house is not that crucial. I mean, it is not like Scandinavian or minimalist, that for example, you need to have large windows to begin with. Instead, the focus is more on incorporating rustic and vintage elements. Of course, for example, a front porch or exposed brick or stone walls can enhance the farmhouse aesthetic and complement the interior design, but you can implement this style even without them. Here are the elements of the traditional farmhouse to accomplish this style. The traditional farmhouse interior style is characterized by the use of natural materials like wood, stone, and metal. The color scheme of a classic farmhouse should be warm and welcoming. Cream or white walls, muted shades of gray, and earthy browns are the most commonly used colors. Overall, we can say the color palette is warm and neutral. Of course, accent colors can be added. Rustic elements like exposed wooden beams, shiplap, barn doors, and distressed furniture are common in traditional farmhouse interiors. Soft and cozy textures like flannel, wool, burlap, and linen are used to inject a sense of warmth and comfort into a space. Vintage accents like antique pottery, worn rugs, and vintage wall art lend character and charm to a farmhouse interior. Just remember to be authentic with artwork and accessories. Please don't do some prints or artwork that might be too artificial. They don't add anything to the space but clutter. Lighting fixtures that are inspired by industrial, rural, or farmhouse themes like barn lights, lanterns, and mason jars lights add a rustic touch to the farmhouse interior style. Natural decors like fresh flowers, planters, wooden bowls, and baskets filled with fruits and vegetables add a natural touch to this style. Furniture in a traditional farmhouse interior should be functional, sturdy, and comfortable. Pieces like large wooden tables and chairs, benches, and cozy sofas are ideal for this style. The pros of having this style are that it's really inviting. It has a rustic charm that attracts people who are drawn to the traditional and homely feel, and the natural materials give an authentic rural feel. Moreover, the versatility. A traditional farmhouse style can work with a variety of houses, making it a versatile choice for different homes. 
Let's move on to the modern farmhouse interior design. I can describe modern farmhouse as an interior design style that combines the rustic and charming aesthetic of traditional farmhouses with modern and contemporary elements. The style emphasizes a cozy, lived-in feeling while balancing a clean, streamlined look, a mixture of old and new. The modern farmhouse interior style started to evolve around the mid-2010s with the rise of home renovation shows such as Fixer Opera, which popularized the style. I'm gonna point out the elements that are different between modern farmhouse and traditional farmhouse interior styles and I guess you will perceive it better this way. I guess one of the most important differences is the color palette. The color scheme in modern farmhouse is mostly white to off-white with pastel shades. Let's say it's the neutral colors with pops of color from cabinets, walls, accessories, or accent pieces. Furniture in both styles is almost the same, however, some modern minimal furniture can incorporate into modern farmhouse style. In terms of accessories and decors, they are almost the same, although oversized wall clocks or other larger scale statement pieces can be seen in modern farmhouse interior style. Unique fixtures like a weathered faucet and large pendant lights are also common in this style. Overall, it's a low combination of minimalism and country elements, so that is what we do in accessories as well. The pros to the modern farmhouse is that we still have the warmth and coziness atmosphere of the traditional farmhouse but with the timeless appeal. On the other hand, the con is combining rustic and modern elements in the right proportions can be challenging, and care must be taken to ensure that the balance between the two is not lost. Let's move on to the third style. The industrial farmhouse is a design aesthetic that combines two seemingly opposite design styles an industrial vibe with a rustic farmhouse feel. This decor style is characterized by the use of industrial elements such as concrete, metal, and wood, plus rustic features, including reclaimed wood, vintage furniture, and other items that create a warm, welcoming atmosphere. There is this difference in the base of space when it comes to industrial farmhouse. In this style, we mostly have open plant spaces with a high and exposed ceiling where you possibly can see exposed piping, ductwork, wiring, and structural elements. The color palette in this style tends to be neutral in darker shades of black, brown, and gray, with occasional pops of color. The industrial farmhouse interior style features a mix of natural, raw, and organic materials. Let's say it's a balance between hard and soft, which includes wood. We could say wood is a go-to material for all farmhouse styles. Metal, concrete, brick, and leather upholstery. Fixtures also lean toward black metal, oil drop bronze, or copper. Furniture plays a large role in industrial farmhouse interior style. The style tends to feature a mix of clean lines, vintage and rustic pieces, and industrial design elements. The furniture should be functional and comfortable, but also have a rustic and industrial feel. About lighting, industrial style lighting fixtures, floor lamps, pendants, and chandeliers made of heavy iron, wood, or brass finishes would be good choices for this style. That's it about farmhouse style and the take-ons. What do you think of them? Which one do you prefer? I love it, we should do this, we should do all three in our house and get this over with. Well Jeff, don't be ridiculous. I mean it is nice and eventually, I might choose it. But I want to discover other options as well, please be more patient. I want to know about everything that I saw on Instagram or TikTok. Oh my god. I can't believe this. Don't worry, that's why I'm here for. I will present another style for you next week and you might like it better.